How are you doing folks and welcome back to a, another new episode of the Chilly Northerner. Um, if you can see me with a pink flamingo wallpaper in the background. <laughs> uh, the only reason I'm not in the conservatory is because it's a bit of a tip at the moment. I'm doing a bit of DIY as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff's in there. I can't get the mood in there to be fair. Plus the tumble dryer's going, but that's just life. Um, I have not had a great start to this year for a few, for many different reasons, but uh, especially for the growing season, the old compost that I used before did not work out very well at all. I even got some more compost after that that I ordered from a, uh, that I ordered online, and that hasn't particularly worked either. Um, I've had a, and that's even in my heater propagator. I'll show you my heater propagator in a bit. I've got rows and rows of, uh, of chili seeds in there. They've been there for maybe four weeks now, and there's nothing there, and nothing's come up at all. Uh, I don't know if the seeds have rotted or they're just not germinating. I, mean, I, I, I really can't understand it. Um, you will see three small germinated chilies. They are chocolate bootlers. I transplanted these in here um, just for keeping them warm to try and see if we can grow them on a bit more. So I think I'm going to take them out of there. I know they're small uh, and I shouldn't really move around things too much. Uh, but this, you know, I'm still kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of desperate to actually get get a move on and get uh, get started with the season. Uh, I'll show you my tree upstairs there now. Well, as you can see, folks, I have been potting up uh, into three inch square pots. Um, some of them should never have been potted up into three inch pots by now because um, they're way too small. Uh, one or two are probably even borderline really. Um, but it is what it is because I just wanted to get get them out of that soil that was in before uh, get them into some proper soil with some good nutrients inside of them and hopefully these will take off these have now been in these pots for about three days now and they've come back up to life there are some good green vivid color in some of them which is pleasing to see um, you can see the uh, antique ahi dorma uh, uh, doing reasonably well they're quite tall plants anyway so they're probably going to grow like that the the um malwyan picant is probably doing okay um it's probably the best one so far actually uh, the trinity habanero is not doing too great i've got a couple of there's they're very yellow and maybe it was over watered before but the way i'm doing it now i mean that one's a lot better actually um, and that one's okay if indeed the uh, the cotyledons are a little yellow and that one will will may not survive uh, this is the can star lemon star burst row uh, you can see some brown blotches on the leaves again this is a sign of lack of nutrients uh, i believe anyway um, but yeah uh, they're looking they're looking okay to be fair or at least three of them are that one's looking a bit too small to be fair but hopefully it'll pick up and uh, the last two here are ghost peppers um, very high on the Scoville level there but um, yeah they are very small again but I just had to get them out of that seed tray uh, they were not doing very well at all in that koi uh, stuff just in case these fail I have actually uh, planted some more um, pretty much mirror what's in what's in there I and mean, these have only been in here a few days so um, I'm hopefully this will uh, this will pick up I've just got like a plastic cloche to go over the sea tray so yeah that is my little update for the time being just another piece of information here as well regarding the potting up I'll put them into this deep tray that I've got anyway and you water from the bottom reason being is if uh, when the plants are very young and this has happened to me in the past when I, on the first year they did it if you keep on watering from the top you um, the roots don't get down to the bottom of the pots and you can get what they call stem rot so they just rot from the stem up uh, because they get too waterlogged uh, so yeah if you water from the bottom like a gap there so if you just stick plenty of rain water in there fill it up to maybe like half an inch up and then just keep on top of it really let it dry out but you know it forces the roots to actually go down to the bottom of the pots where the water is rather than rather than uh, hanging around the top where they shouldn't be anyway 
top tip, as you can see by some of these young seedlings. Um, some of them are doing okay. I'm not going to call it a total loss. Um, I'm going to give them a, you know, a week or so in the in this in this soil that they are there now um, in these new plant pots. Uh, and I hope, fingers crossed, that this will uh, this will kickstart. I think it will. I, I'm quite confident that I think it will. You know, I've got uh, that's as I said before, that's a um, that's a young plant's compost. I've added some vermiculite and some perlite, and uh, maybe even a pot where I put like a small, um, a very small handful of, uh, of fish blood and bone mix as well. So they've got all the nutrients there now to start thriving into a, into you know good size you know small smallish plants, and that's the way I kind of want them. I want them like so you know maybe a foot or so high. Um, before they get uh, transplanted into probably what will be their, their final pot. Let's hope this works and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers folks.